So, the Super Bowl has come and gone, and like every single year, we have gotten a bunch of new movie trailers coming from this year's Super Bowl event. And I gotta be honest, this used to be a big thing I used to look forward to every year, waiting for the Super Bowl, waiting for these brand new amazing trailers. But over the last few years, it's kind of uh, sunk in a little bit. We, we don't usually get the great high quality trailers that we once got. It's been really kind of shitty lately. But, but, this year, they chefed up some stuff for us. So I wanna get into it. I wanna talk about the trailers that at least, you know, looked good to me. I'm sure there's gonna be some that I'm gonna miss here. There's some that I'm probably not going to talk about here that you're going to say, hey, I like that trailer. Well, sorry, I, I probably just forgot about it. But there are some here that I am very, very excited for. So let's get right into it. First up, the big one, Deadpool 3, which is now titled Deadpool and Wolverine. There were a lot of questions on what the movie would, would actually be titled. There was a leak that it was going to be called Deadpool and Friend, which would have been hilarious. But lo and behold, we get the title Deadpool and Wolverine, the film starring Ryan Gosling and bringing back... Hugh Jackman as Wolverine and putting both of these characters into the MCU, which is crazy, but also kind of awesome. Now, what can I say about this trailer that you probably haven't already heard a million people say? This looks great. It looks like exactly what you want out of a Deadpool entering the MCU type movie. The route that they've chosen to go is to sort of explain it as the TVA from the Loki series kind of coming in and scooping up Ryan Reynolds from his universe and, and inserting him into, I guess, a bunch of different universes, which will eventually end up in our universe, the Sacred Timeline, right? In the main MCU universe. And lo and behold, he's gonna meet a whole bunch of different variants, a whole bunch of different, like this seems to be a Professor, Professor X variant, a different Wolverine variant in the trailer, but at some point he will run into Hugh Jackman's Wolverine and they'll go on a big adventure. You see in the trailer, Matthew McFadden from Succession, he's here. I love him, he's great, he's Tom, he's freaking Tom, and I'm, oh, I can't believe they got him. <laughs> The jokes here were all funny, the, the action seemed very Deadpool, it seems like it's gonna be hard R, really, you know, violent, grotesque. I'd like to see some other MCU characters jump in, like some cameos, some surprises. I know there's like a rumor that Taylor Swift might be in this, which, who cares? But yeah, how can you not be excited for Deadpool and Wolverine? I mean, this is a very important movie, uh, uh, not just for Deadpool, not just for Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman, but this is like the movie that Marvel is kind of betting all of its eggs on. Like, they've really put all their eggs in one basket here because like last year they had what two two out of their three movies bombed at the box office they've been bombing and bombing over and over their disney plus shows haven't really worked out they're in a spot where they really really need a hit and not just a hit but a major hit to really re reintroduce the mcu into the movie fold as like the juggernaut that they were just like three four years ago and they're really betting on this one being it. I mean, this is the only movie they're releasing this year, and I, I do think this is going to be a billion-dollar movie. Like, I can't see how it won't be, but they need it to be a banger. They really do. But yeah, I'm excited for it. Then we have A Quiet Place Day 1. Now, this is the prequel, aka spinoff to A Quiet Place. It's not directed by John Krasinski. Uh, it's directed by somebody else, but it serves Lupita Nyong'o and a bunch of other great people. And it's essentially talking about the first day of The Quiet Place apocalypse you know this kind of a post apocalypse or this is the apocalypse the other movies were the post apocalypse and this is where we're kind of seeing these aliens invade in a crowded city where there's a lot of noise and that is an interesting concept to explore will it work in action i don't know we'll have to see but this is obviously a movie that i ranked high on my most anticipated movies list of the year go check that video out i definitely talked about it there and it's a movie that i'm still excited for right now it has not changed i love this universe i love this world i love the aliens i love the concepts that it proposes i really want to see part three with krasinski coming back and killian murphy starring and finishing off that perfect trilogy uh but if we can't get that just yet this is a movie that uh, will definitely fill the void, and I think it could end up being really good, and this trailer definitely got me kind of excited. Then you have Wicked Part 1, which they forgot to put the Part 1 in the trailer, because they don't want you to know that it's a Part 1. I mean, look, look, I, I love The Wizard of Oz, you know, a classic movie. Uh, I really like that James Franco movie, you know, <laughs> Oz the Powerful Wizard or whatever. I, I enjoyed that as a kid even though there's a lot of problems with it. I don't know shit about Wicked. I've never seen the musical. I don't know anything about it. I just know that it's a prequel to The, to the Wizard of Oz, and I know that Jeff Goldblum is playing the wizard. Awesome. Am I excited for this? I don't know. I I've asked people that know the Wicked story, like if it's something that needed to be split into two parts, and everybody that I've asked told me no. No, it didn't. So I'm kind of confused as to why this is two movies, other than, you know, money. But, I, t I don't know, the trailer looked cool, it looked interesting, Ariana Grande's in it, okay, like, let's see what happens, right? Then you have the sequel to Twister, which is called Twisters. 
I guess that's better than The Twister, which is what I thought it would be called. This is essentially a sequel or remake or follow-up to the original classic Twister movie that I am a big fan of. This movie takes that same concept, except you have Glenn Powell, Daisy Ed Ed Edgar Jones uh, starring in this movie, and you have multiple Twisters. Fuck it. Now I gotta say, a part of me is really excited about this, because we don't really get great disaster movies anymore. It's been quite a while since we've had a great, great disaster movie. Unless you count Moonfall. I fucking love Moonfall, baby. But it's legitimately been a while, and Twister is one of the best disaster movies that we've ever gotten, and maybe they can capture something there uh, in the follow-up in this movie that, you know, recapture something that was done so well in the original that'll make this one really special. But uh, I, I just feel like this is probably gonna end up being a stinker. That's just my gut feeling. The trailer didn't really look amazing, but it looked like more disaster, Twister, you know, action, but... I don't know, I love Glenn Powell, so I'll, I'll, I'll hold on hope for this one. My personal favorite trailer from the whole thing, and the movie that I think absolutely looks the best out of any of these things, is easily Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Holy shit. The trailer for this movie looks absolutely insane. This is a movie I was already excited for because I love the Matt Reeves trilogy that he did, Rise, Dawn, War of the Planet of the Apes. I think they're all great movies, and we've been kind of waiting to see how they were going to follow that up, whether it be a reboot or a sequel or whatever. And this seems to be a new trilogy, a sequel trilogy that takes place a couple hundred years after the end of the original uh, trilogy of movies, The War of the Planet of the Apes. And now we have a world that is legitimately the planet of the apes, right? The first trilogy is kind of like the birth of it, and now we have it. And humans are kind of this secondary species on Earth, and there's this kingdom of apes that sort of hunt the humans, and this movie looks like the closest thing we'll get to that original Planet of the Apes, like the classic Planet of the Apes type story, with humans being hunted, locked in cages, this primitive human, and the, the, this built-up ape species that are ruling the planet. This looks great and everything about this trailer just screams mega hit this looks like it's gonna be so good and west ball's not a director i'm like too familiar with i've heard him do some interviews and he said a lot of the stuff that i agree with when it comes to hollywood uh he directed the maze runner movies which i'm kind of a fan of some of them there's a lot of good stuff in some of those movies uh i'm excited for this i was kind of excited for it before this trailer then i watched the trailer I'm, I'm just totally in for this, and if this is the start of a new trilogy, God, sign me up. There's something about these eight movies that just have the, a tone and a vibe that's so great, and this trailer captures everything that I wanted from it, and it sounds so epic and awesome, and God, I cannot wait for this one. This is now one of my most anticipated movies of the year, by far. That's pretty much everything I could think of. There were some trailers that were missing. I really thought there was going to be a Joker 2 trailer. I really don't know why I thought that. It doesn't come out till October, and, like, it's not really, like, a big blockbuster movie. It's, like, a smaller oscar Beatty comic book movie that will make a lot of money and will be a big hit, but it's not exactly, like, Deadpool 3. I was also hoping to maybe get a look at Venom 3, just kind of see what's going on with that movie, but uh, overall, pretty good, pretty good year for Super Bowl trailers. We got a lot of first looks at some films, Deadpool being obviously the biggest one. We got more looks at films we had already seen pieces of, like Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. There's a bunch of other stuff that I don't really care about, but yep, we got a bunch of other stupid stuff. Yeah, it was a good year. It was a great year. And the Chiefs won, which might make some people happy and probably make a lot of people unhappy. So, yeah, take that how you want it. I like Pat Mahomes, so I was, I was feeling pretty good about it. That's the video, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. Click the video on your screen right now, and I will see you in the next one.